Today I will be sharing my experience with the mountain lion in this week's video. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. As you guys know, as of lately, I have been going through a series of stories of my life or in my life. I'm not quite sure what I have named the playlist. Stories of my life, stories from my life, blah, blah, blah. It's somewhere up on top here. So anyway, I'm gonna be sharing my mountain lion experience and it's quite literally crazy. And if you are familiar with the story in the Bible, with David and lion's den dealing with lions and not getting eaten, even though he's thrown in the pit of lions. It's something similar to that. I mean, I wasn't like quite in a pit of lions, but I did experience kind of like a God moment with a lion. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so for starters, this story takes place being eight-ish years ago. So Sam had just deployed to Afghanistan. This is when we were dating. This is when I was in the process of moving from my parents' place into his place. And at the time being, I was staying temporarily with some friends, kind of couch surfing for a little bit. And they are cat owners as well, which that becomes relevant at the end of the story. So back then I was a lot more fit. I used to go on jogs, hikes all the time. I'm not a runner at all. I don't want to die. It's not for me. <laughs> so I prefer walking nowadays and doing stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty active again now. But anyway, so we have a national park here in Colorado called Garden of the Gods. And I used to frequent there all the time. It's beautiful, it's scenic, there's plenty of hiking trails, plenty of stuff to do for visitors and touristy things. And like, you know, it's, it's very beautiful. So I drove over there, parked, and at this time of day, it was, I would say mid, late summer, I think. And it was somewhere around the time of dusk, which you guys know, dusk in the summertime is absolutely beautiful and it's the cool of the day. And since I am pretty close to the mountains here in Colorado, there was, you know, some shade and stuff going on so it was pretty cool a little hike and so for me I tend to kind of get lost in my thoughts when I go on hikes or walks and with this here I got lost in my thoughts just kind of just like thinking of life maybe talking to God I don't really know but I don't know how it happened but I was so immersed in my thoughts that I had gotten off a beaten path and I was literally climbing through brush I don't know I literally don't know and so I had lost sight of the trail I didn't know where I was, it was a little turned around. So with this, I kind of panic a little bit because I'm like, okay, I'm in the brush, there's wild animals, most likely there's snakes. I don't like snakes at all. So I'm gonna try and find the trail again. So anyway, there was this big old rock just about, I would say, 10 feet in front of me. And on top of this big, huge rock, boulder, whatever, there was this mountain lion sunning itself the last little bit of sun from the day. And my heart sank into my feet. Yeah, I truly thought I was going to die. And so I, at this point, have of course been making a lot of noise going through the brush. And at this point, the mountain lion had woken up and we made eye contact. And like I said, my soul literally dropped into my feet. I'm like, oh gosh. This is how I die. And so like, you know, this big cat gets up, stretches and slowly makes its way down towards me. Not at all threatened by me at this point, which I kind of found interesting. I figured it would just like swipe me like the second I made like any sudden moves or whatever. But it came up to me and it just kind of stood in front of me a couple of feet and just kind of studied me. And I mean, I'm about ready to pee my pants. I'm so freaked out right now. And so my hands are down by my sides and the mountain lion kind of studies me and walks up to me and proceeds to put its head into one of my hands and kind of rub a little bit and kind of like rub up into me and, and of course I'm freaking out over this. This wild animal that could literally maul me in two seconds, I'm going to die. This thing could literally kill me within a matter of seconds. It's rubbing up all on me. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I guess kind of like claiming me or whatever. And so it walked past me and then kind of turned around and looked back at me like, bro, you coming? And so I'm like, okay, well, I have nowhere else to go. I can't run from this thing, obviously. So I'm like, you know what? We'll humor this animal. I'm just gonna walk with it. And I'm not, and mind you, when I'm saying all this, I am not nearly this calm at all in my mind. Like my mind is racing. I'm freaking out, I'm sweating profusely. And literally I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna die today. So I follow this mountain lion and every once in a while I make sure that I'm following him and it lets me walk beside him or it or whatever. I didn't I didn't have time at this point. It was not even necessary to evaluate what gender the lion was. But I am walking along with a lion and my mind is racing and I'm praying and I'm going, oh my gosh, God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. What do I do in this situation? I am blindly following this wild animal through the brush. I don't know where we're going. It's probably gonna take me back to wherever it's 
home is and probably eat me there. I don't know. And so I'm freaking out and I'm praying and as loud as you can hear your own thoughts, like, you know, the little voice in your head, I heard a voice in my head say, peace be still, I am with you. And in that moment, I just got this overwhelming sense of peace. And I knew that that was God telling me like, just chill out. You're okay, I got you. And so I was good. I was at peace and I was walking with this lion and would you believe it? This thing led me right back to the trail that I had wandered off on. It didn't walk onto the trail, but it led me to it. So I proceeded to walk very gingerly past the lion because at any point, you know, this thing's wild and it could attack me at any point. And the lion just kind of stands there for a second and just kind of like looks at me and then just walks back into the brush and disappears. And that was that. And of course, like, I'm like, this is no way that this is real life. I have to be having a dream. This cannot be real. And I'm absolutely rattled to my core by this experience. And so I get back to my vehicle and I proceed to drive back to my friend's place that I'm staying at the time. And when I get there, they were outside doing some yard work and they could see that I'm very visibly shaken up. So the mom asked me, hey, are you okay? Like, what's going on? I'm like, you are not gonna believe what just happened to me. Like, can we just go inside and sit down because you're probably gonna need to be sitting down for this. So we go inside, I tell them the whole story and the entire time the mom kind of has this little smirk on her face. And so how I said in the beginning of this video here, how they have cats is relevant to the story. Here it is. So once I finished my story, she kind of chuckles a little bit and she goes, so the part where you shared that the mountain lion went up to you and rubbed its head into your hand, do you know what that cat was doing? I'm like, no. She says, when cats do that, it is a way of submission. I know, I still get goosebumps from it. <laughs> it is crazy. So that was my experience with the mountain lion. It quite literally submitted to me. God was covering the entire situation. I have survived a mountain lion experience. Absolutely trippy. I do not want to experience that again because like I said, I many times almost beat myself because I'm like, this is how I'm gonna die. I, I'm, I'm not gonna get married. I'm not gonna become a mom, like none of that stuff. So yeah, so that happens. And that is my story, my mountain lion experience. It's pretty short, sweet, and simple. So that is it for this week's video. If you are enjoying these little snippets of stories throughout my life, of my life, whatever, please hit the thumbs up so I know to do more because like I said, I've got plenty to share. If you've enjoyed today's video as well, of course, like I said, hit the like button. If you are not already, please subscribe. And if you guys are not friends with me on Instagram, my info is down in the description box below. Yeah. That is my story for this week's video. I love you guys all so much, and I will see you all next time.